In this video we're going to be solving the systems of three equations with three unknowns and if you're in a vectors unit you're learning vectors this is solving for the solution of three vector planes. So what we're going to first do is we're going to put this into uh, augmented form is what it's called. We're going to take out, leave out all the uh, variables and just grab the coefficients. So it's 1, 1, 2 and then a 2. 2, 1, minus 1, and 4, and 2, minus 2, minus 2, 10. But I can see here that these are all even, so I'm going to make our lives a little bit, oops, a little bit easier and see if I can uh, divide by 2. So we get 1, minus 1, minus 1, 5. Okay, so now... I'm going to rewrite the first row, and then I'm going to get rid of this, uh, this value here by multiplying the first row by a negative. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. Then I'm going to, instead of multiplying by a negative, I'll multiply it by negative 2, and I'll get rid of this value. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Negative 4. Negative 4 minus 1 whoops, is minus 5. And negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Now, on this one, I'm going to multiply by uh, negative 2 on this row. Rewrite the first row, 1, 1, 2, 2. Rewrite the second row. And now this will be, you always want a goal of three zeros right here when you're doing this technique. Um, so this will be 2 minus 2 is 0. I already wrote that. Now I have 10 minus 3 is 7. And then we have 0 plus 3 is 3. Okay. So what this says is uh, there's three situations. The first one, uh, we're talking about the last row here, all zeros. That means they meet in a line. All three planes meet in one line. Second option is three zeros, which would be zero, 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 these three zeros, equals some number. That would, that's the same as saying zero x plus zero y plus zero z, which means no matter what we put in for x, y, and z, it's zero, because we're multiplying them all by zero, equals three or six or something. That is uh, no solution, because that's impossible. Zero can't equal three. And then in our case, we have two zeros. And that means that I have a 7z equals 3. I'm going to take that value and plug it in there and find y and plug them both in there and find x, which means we, uh, two zeros means we have just a single point. Okay, so now if we start, we have z is equal to 3 over 7. Plug that in right there, and I have minus y, minus 1y, minus 5z, which is z is 3 sevenths, equals 0. So that means y is equal to negative 15 over 7. And x, if we go and find x now, we've got x plus put in minus actually, minus 15 over 7 plus 2z, which is 3 over 7, equals 2. Do a little bit of work, and we have x. Uh, this is 6 minus 15, which would be 8, 9, sorry. So that's minus 9 over 15, four, 7, sorry, minus 9 over 7 equals 2. 
x equals 2 plus 9 over 7. Common denominator, we have 14 over 2, 14 over 7. 14 plus 9 is 23, so x equals 23 over 7. So there's our point, 23 over 7, comma, minus 15 over 7, comma, 3 over 7. Hope that helps.